Welcome, my name is Ricky, and today we're going to be starting on a new series on this channel. We're going to be playing Dishonored, as you can see on the screen. We're going to be playing it a little bit different than I've ever played it before. I did something similar to this on my other channel, and there's an achievement in Dishonored, and it's similar in Dishonored 2, and in Dishonored it's called Mostly Flesh and Steel, and in Dishonored 2 it's just called Flesh and Steel. So, what it is in Dishonored is you never, ever, once, ever buy a single power from the outsider. Uh, except blink so you use you can use blink but other than blink you don't get anything else you can't even upgrade blink or anything like that so i will be using blink because that's not in the against the spirit of the achievement and technically speaking i will still be able to do it but uh so yeah all right let's get started we're gonna start a new game on very hard okay so i skipped through all of the opening cinematics because this game is Five years old now so I didn't feel like I needed to leave them in um, I should point out that I've turned off a lot of stuff in fact here I'll show you what I've turned off uh, user interface so I've uh, health and mana gauges are now contextual whatever that means uh, everything else is turned off uh, except the crosshair so and I'm gonna do that a lot because I have forgotten how to play this game, apparently. Seen anybody with signs of the sickness? Okay. Not not to... Open the... I'm going to press A a bunch. I'm just going to tell you that now. Okay. So, this, this, this. Take the sword. Just in case. Alright. Hi, unobservant guards. Oi. Super unobservant guards. And chunk you over here. He's still alive, right? Yeah. Okay. He's still alive, right? All right. So um, I'm not going to be trying to play it ghost, you know, stealth, no kills. That's my goal. But I'm not saying it's going to be the only thing I absolutely, absolutely hold myself to this ghost stealth playthrough thing. Mostly because I'm so used to playing this with powers that I don't really know how to do it otherwise. So, now, this is what I don't like about Dishonored that Dishonored 2 sort of makes a little bit better. He doesn't notice that neither of the other two guards that were in the room when he left the room aren't in it anymore. And Dishonored 2 makes them smarter. And I think part of it was just game engines back then with AI weren't as good, but take that and choke you out, throw you over my shoulder, and good old fashioned dishonored body pile time, there you go, I mean they're, they're alive so it's, it's fine, so if you don't know the plot of dishonored, which how dare you, <laughs> but if you're, if you're unaware of it, uh, Corvo, the, your, the main character, the protagonist here, he has been falsely accused of killing the Empress who was actually killed by the assassin Dowd. We saw all this in the first, in the opening cinematic. Although we didn't know that was Dowd. Hello. Okay, you go over here. Now, I don't have a problem throwing the bodies around because A, they live, and B, I mean, they're prison guards, and it's very apparent that they are not super good at, you know, super nice and stuff. I like, I've also played this game a lot. A lot. I've probably played through seven, eight times or more. You know, I've done the high chaos. I've done the ghost. I've done... Nope. Uh, the thing about Dishonored is that playing non-lethally, uh, you know, it's probably the biggest flaw in Dishonored that they really fixed in Dishonored 2 because you can knock people out by air assassinating them, but not assassinating them, but air 
air unconsciousing them. So I'm supposed to get this uh, bomb out of here and then go put it on a door. Uh, more money. No, go. Okay, no, no. All right. Don't come investigate, though. That's for sure. Okay. Take his key off of him. You are the most unobservant guards in the world. Wait for him to walk over there. I also turned off the uh, alert things so i don't know Not everyone did, but I really liked hey i like the empress too i didn't kill her <laughs> don't see me 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 he didn't see me we're good <coughs> oh he's definitely gonna see me huh? i just lean yeah he saw me don't come down and investigate Stop looking this way. Thank you. Come on, 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 come on. Got him. Ha. Ha, 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 ha. Did see me. Okay. Uh, but hang on. Let's set him way over here, too. Uh, well, I'm about to blow up some stuff, so I can't exactly have him dying. And I don't want to run the risk of him dying. And before I do any of that, I'm going to come over here and get the health elixir. I don't need more health yet. Oh, X. Right, run and jump. Swim. And somehow, this doesn't count as being seen. I don't think. Although, technically speaking, um, the ghost achievements don't count for this first section. Well, guess what? You lost me. It was not the Bottle Street Gang, I can tell you that right now. Whoa! I remember the first time I saw this, this was horrifying. I mean, it's still horrifying, but it really shows you what the Rat Plague is all about, really. Poor guy. And now he's getting thrown around. First he, was, first he died trying to escape, I'm assuming the rats. And then some other guy comes up and throws his body away. All right, so we're going to pick him up, and we're going to wait for the rats to finish their little meal there. I mean, at least this guy's dead, right? Run over the, run over to the, I just threw a body right there. Ugh. They found that body yet? No. Oh. Oh, they found the body. Okay, well, now they have two bodies. At least the hold shows up when you start it. Attention Dunwall citizens. The assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily. Oh, press the wrong button. Has temporarily escaped state custody. Any yeah, temporarily, you mean full time because you're not going to catch me. I am the literal gingerbread man. Except my hubris won't get me caught in the end. No, sneak. Okay. That sucked. Uh, I think I pressed the wrong button. I don't know if he had anything on him, but that's literally the first time I've ever seen that. Ah, seen that. No, okay, so let's... 
There. B? Slide. We'll just slide. That did not work like it was supposed to. Okay, I'm gonna thinking I'm gonna have to turn the contextual clues back on. If I'm gonna get out of here alive. Also, I could have climbed up there. I forgot about that. I can climb up there and then you can disable the stuff. Uh, cool. Yeah, they gave me a bunch of nifty new stuff. Including three sleep darts. Okay. This is where it usually tells you to and then slide underneath it. I'm not going to disarm that. I'm going to disarm this. There we go. Going to eat some more. Right. Check this thing. And then it's um, over here. It's 451. It's always 451. In case anyone was wondering. And the X button. Just get used to be jumping a lot. When um, I really mean to do. There we go. Get some more money. Now head over here. Listen to the guards' inane conversation about Corvo. They won't get past me. Do you know who we're hunting here? Don't try to take them out alone. But what if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you. Yeah. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. <laughs> yeah. He is a bit of one, huh? Okay, wait for him to walk away. Get far enough away that I can. Like sh a dead leaper in there. Yeah. Well. All right. And loot him. You mean Corvo? The time you almost caught Corvo Watano? The guy who's standing right here. I mean, sure. I'm so like I said, I'm not interested in getting the achievement that lets you get all the coins, or maybe it's not even an achievement. I'm just not interested in collecting all the coins. This just is a lot easier to deal with if you don't really care about anything. All right. Well. Uh-oh. Whoops. Ah, I shot him. Oh. Well. Ah, ah. All right. Fine. Crud. Well, at least those guys were unconscious. Okay. So much for trying to sneak out of here. I might as well come over here and get all this stuff then. Whatever all's in here. Nothing. I'm real sorry about that, gentlemen. Um, unfortunately, one of you died. That was um, kind of my fault, I'll admit. Uh, but, yeah, it is my bad. Did you guys know there's a dead guy up here? I did not kill that guy. <clears throat> Just everyone should know it was not me who killed that guy. Over here. Quickly. I'm, a, I'm Samuel. Hello, Samuel. I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. Are you they good people out, though? I still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river. Okay. All right, old man, let's go. All right, let's see how I did. Okay. One hostile killed. Three bodies found. That's not bad. Overall chaos low. Didn't kill anyone. Ghost never detected, unfortunately. 
Uh, I probably could have gotten away with not just just waiting for that guy to walk away and climbing, but whatever, whatever. Well, this has been Dishonored, mostly flesh and steel. Thank you for watching, and come back soon for more Dishonored.